Protesters say, if you think demonstrations against Democrats in Denver were big, wait until you see what happens in Minnesota with the Republicans. We have word that people are coming on buses and carpools. Um, people are flying in from all over the country. Activists are busy painting banners and making huge puppets for the biggest planned protest, a massive anti-war march through the streets of St. Paul on Monday. We are expecting the police to uphold our right to demonstrate, to speak out against the war. Organizers say they expect about 50,000 demonstrators from all over the country to show up for Monday's march. That's quite impressive. That says that the country wants to see change. The country wants to see an end to the war in Iraq. Keeping all those protesters peaceful will be a challenge, as some anarchist groups have vowed to crash the convention. In terms of, of what others are doing, I think that we're aware of, of you know, the other tactics that other groups are, are doing. And so we're, we're trying to, re to schedule around you know, that those different um, activities. Local law enforcement will be out in full force. And just in case things do get out of hand, the Sheriff's Department has built a temporary outdoor holding area capable of detaining hundreds of arrested protesters. Haven Daily, The Associated Press.